digital strategy is very, very hard to define. And I think even more important than defining what a digital strategy is, is probably the ability to implement it. Broadly speaking, we break digital strategy into two major buckets. One is a digital strategy facing directly the consumer, and the other one is digital strategy that facing yourself. The importance of having a digital strategy, you can say, is really about ensuring that you have a, a strategy that is fit for the digital world. Employing digital tactics that enable you to do your job better, better degree of efficiency, better degree of clarity. So having a clear perspective on that, understanding what that is going to mean to your business and a plan to, to respond is what we ultimately talk about when we talk about something as a digital strategy. Innovation, by definition, is not all digital. There are fantastic innovation going on that has nothing to do with digital. There are companies during this time that react the fastest, is the one that maintain the, the most treasured uh, capability, which is a talent base. Talent tends to go where other talent is. Really, it's about creating talented teams that working conversantly together, and maybe also have those bridges to connect the real deep understanding of the business and the dynamics and what it will take to win where value is really hiding in that business. The small team, uh, that flexibility, that agility is going to be extremely important. And as a large corporation, if you can comprise of these pockets of small, effective and, and highly agile team, we will really determine the success and failure of large corporation. If I have to give any example of what a small company can learn from large to uh, to develop a system of their own, and in the end, that defines your culture. It's really relatively easy to build a culture for 50 people, but as you get into a thousand, 2000 people, and to build a consistent culture, that is much easier said than done. You know, we find equally that the large companies are really also trying to learn from the smaller ones. Large companies want to get smaller in a, you know, not in a direct sense, but in a sense of working in new ways. Really, really ensure that you are open towards how different that future experience and value proposition can be, right? So that the business is constantly changing and the ability to adapt and even drive towards that in a, in a way that is meaningful to customers is going to be part of that you know, the answer to tomorrow's winner. The other aspect I think is ensuring that they are able to leverage the value of data. It is no longer enough to just rely on your experience. How do we harvest the data that we have and augment it with some other set of data to give meaning? Really understanding the role of technology is a key lever in, in, you know, in driving forward there will be a lot of new services that are coming out that are going to be, you know, creating a new set of competitive dynamics for their industries. In the future, we're going to see an opening of an array of new types of opportunities. And some companies are really going to be embracing and responding to those, driving those forward. And I think that is going to create a totally new competitive environment. So there's no certainty in innovation, but all of that requires one thing, it requires a clarity of purpose and our license to fail. Move fast, fail fast, and reinvent yourself again.